welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at ratings battles. Is there any point really? Well, in a word, yes there is, but there are underlying issues with ratings which we'll get to. Now I'm going to show you some replays of me abusing ratings in a smasher. Lose some, win some, hey, way it goes. What is it with ratings? Okay, the player base effectively bemoans MM. So a lot of people said they wanted a skill based MM. So Wargaming introduced ratings, which is meant to be a skill based MM. The write up for ratings clearly states that the matchmaker will take into account your skill level and match you with worthy opponents. Unfortunately, that generally doesn't happen. Well, it doesn't happen until you start getting it to about 4,500 points or so, I'm told. Why does that make ratings broken? Well, to an extent, yes, it does. But it's broken not because of the game. It's not because of the algorithms or the parameters that Wargaming have put in to make that matchmaker broken. It's because I believe, and it's my opinion, that the player base just haven't embraced ratings enough. Despite the fact that the player base bemoaned they wanted a skill-based MM. So you get a skill-based MM and then you don't embrace it. I mean, go figure, hey? Hmm. So the problem is when you first start ratings, you calibrate. Now, unless you happen to be one of the super duper players, the chances are you're gonna calibrate in either silver and or gold. And when you're calibrating, the MM will match you in a battle. It's as simple as that. And, you know, you'll be in battles with random players. It, it, it's like a random mode for all intents and purposes. You will get good players and you'll get bad players. Now, in the game that you're seeing at the moment, and I'm not going to show you um, their, their ratings or anything, but this game... The majority of the players on, on the team I was in had less than 900 battles. Not all, but the majority. Now, the majority of the red team, by the way, had um, over four or 5,000 battles. So it was an unbalanced MM. But it's an unbalanced MM because the players aren't there to balance it. It's as simple as that. And this is acknowledged, I think, by Wargaming, because unless you've been living under a rock for the last month, like me, then you will see that there are ratings competitions going on for the YouTubers, with a good friend of mine, every good name is taken, leading that board. So it is there. Wargaming understand that ratings is not embraced as much as it should be. And, and they're trying to do something about that. They're trying to raise the awareness of ratings. But why isn't ratings embraced? Well, a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's lovely getting shiny things. You know, gold, platinum, diamond. It's beautiful. Everybody likes shiny things. But a lot of players are put off because it doesn't affect their win rate. And it doesn't. Ratings doesn't affect your win rate. And the rewards aren't particularly great. Let's be honest, guys. I mean, okay, you get more credits, you get more XP, and if you get uh, into certain leagues, you get a camo. But the rewards aren't particularly great for, for doing what you're doing. Apart from the kudos of obviously getting into Diamond League and having your Diamond League avatar and funky dunky camo, and 66% more credits. I mean, all that to one side. I mean, most of the players in the Diamond League, and I don't, not all of them, but most of the players in the Diamond League probably don't need the credits, to be perfectly honest with you. So, the, the, the rewards for ratings aren't enticing enough, I don't think, which puts players off. And along with the fact that, you know, a lot of players are infatuated with win rate, and because ratings doesn't affect your win rate, it fails to bring people on. Now, I, I'm a true believer that ratings should not affect your win rate. Ratings are designed to give you a rating. Simple as that. It's designed to put you in a league to show the world how good you are. And, you know, you can get high on your own ego. 
to be perfectly honest with you. So it doesn't need to change in that respect. But what does need to change is maybe the reward system. And I know Wargaming are working on this. You know, you, you will see ratings battles are in your missions. You will see that they're doing these ratings competitions at the moment to raise the awareness levels. And until the player base embraces ratings, then games like I'm showing you will continue to exist with unbalanced MM. Now, in this game, the team on the, the, the enemy team, the red team, were unbalanced because most of their players were below 500 battles. And the team I was in, most of the players were above 10,000 battles. That's just unbalanced, guys. I mean, you know, you're not getting that in random half the time. And ratings is meant to be more balanced than random. I mean, the MM is meant to put people together who have got similar skills. And, you know, on this red team, unfortunately, only a couple of players were, were, were able to contest this, con this game, which is a shame because that's not the idea behind ratings, clearly. But it's a catch-22. I mean, you're going to get pants MM, unbalanced MM, if you don't have the players there to match you with. It's straightforward, really. And until you get the players, then you can bemoan ratings all you like. And all I can say is that in, you know, we, we have to embrace it. If you want to make ratings really work, then we need to embrace it a lot more than we've embraced it currently. Because it won't work until the player base is there to match. Now, I personally like ratings. Um, why do I like ratings? Wow, it, it, it's nice. It, it's, it's a good little battle format. It, it takes you away from the, you know, the randomness, or it's meant to take you away from the randomness of the, the normal random games. And, you know, it's, it's good getting shiny things. It's good. It's nice. It gives you a good feeling to climb up that ladder. But one of the problems I faced, especially over the last couple of days, is, you know, you, 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 you climb the ladder like I did, and I calibrated, because I made lots of stupid mistakes, at just below 4,000, and then in order to try and get to 4,000, uh, I was just matched with very poor teams, and I think I had something like 25 straight losses, and it wasn't through want of trying. I mean, you know, some of those games are whitewashes, you know, seven nils, and it, it's that that frustrates the player base. But the problem is, it's a lot of it is our own making. Because if we don't embrace it, then the game can't give it. It's as simple as that. You know, if, if, if there aren't the players there to do it, then the MM is going to struggle. Simple, really. And, and you know, I, I could, I'd love to be able to sit here and criticise and contradict the video that I made yesterday about elitism. Because, I'll be honest with you, I don't mind low battle count players in the game. I don't mind low win rate players in the game. I, I really don't. It doesn't bother me. But because of the, the lack of players doing ratings, the MM really does struggle. Until you get up into those dizzying heights of almost diamond. And then it tends to settle down a lot more. Because there are more players up there. The other gripe that a lot of people have is calibration. You, know, you have to calibrate every season. Well, uh, yeah, that doesn't bother me. I mean, okay, it's annoying because you'll, you'll finish the season, it's say, just touching diamond, like I did once, and then you recalibrate the next season, you end up you know, in silver. <laughs> That's the way it works, because the MM struggles initially. And, you know, regardless of what everybody thinks it is a team game guys and the thing about ratings is that you still got to act as a team and I know that obviously you get points for doing x y and z and the better you you know the more risk you take etc etc the more points you get but it's still a team game and you only get those points realistically if you win. Okay, every now and then if you have an absolutely amazing game, you will get points for losing. But the fact of the matter remains is it's still a team game. And we don't play it as a team, we, we play it as an individual. 
So there's a couple of issues with MM, which as much as I'd love to bemoan and point the finger firmly at Wargaming, I can't because like I said in my previous video on elitism, it's our fault really. I mean, we the players, and I keep getting back to this, we the players bemoaned and whinged and moaned about MM. And I've seen on forums and everywhere that the MM is rubbish and we want skill based. So we were given skill based and then we just didn't embrace it. I mean, what the hell is all that about? You ask for something and then you don't embrace it. And then when you finally do get to embrace it, you moan, like me. I mean, I'm one of those players. Don't get me wrong, I'm a hypocrite of the highest degree. And I will sit there and I, whilst I will say, you know, elitism doesn't exist, it's us players. I'm human as well, guys. I have all the same faults and foibles as the next man. And, you know, doing ratings is frustrating when you're losing and losing and losing, no matter how hard you try not to lose. I mean, we lost this battle, I was, you know, I started off as a bottom tier tank and I ended up doing the second most damage. And it's frustratingly annoying because the team collapsed. But it happens. And until we embrace, and you lose, look, look, 20 bloody points. And, in, and until you get to the point whereby ratings are fully embraced, it will continue to struggle. And, you know, you'll continue to get poor teams and you'll continue to get good teams. Simple as that. But you've also got to factor in that it's also based on your skill level. So, I mean, the battle we just lost, I, the majority of the players again were very low battle count players on on the green team and not so low battle count players on the red team so again it was not balanced this game um, was also unbalanced and I, I just so happened to to play the smasher particularly well in this game and the red team had a lot less experience than what some of the players on the green team had and it's the reason why you know this one ended up being a win but and this is the issue. So ratings itself is not broken per se. It's broken by us. And yes, there is a point. And I think the ratings battle mode is a good thing. And I, I you know, I'd hate to see it go. But until we get the players interested in ratings, we're going to struggle with it, and we're going to bemoan it, and we're not going to be happy with it. And we're going to point fingers at people and, and slate them, especially wargaming. And, you know, there comes a toxicity within the game. And I've seen it. I mean, I played a ratings battle last night um, in an RU, funnily enough. And throughout the entire game, a T-34 guy was just screaming at me. Absolutely screaming at me. Um, useless, delete the game, new, go back to the lower tiers, you're a stupid kid, blah, blah, blah. And then I died. And then he turned his attention to a, a chap driving a T92. And this was the interesting part. Firstly, um, he did very low damage in a T34. Secondly, he decided to YOLO straight into all the heavies on the red team in a T34. Thirdly, we won the game. Fourthly, the guy who was bemoaning in the T92 was actually a Diamond League player with a rating of just over 5,150 and a win rate pushing 70 after something like 10,000 battles. And the guy in the T34 had a win rate of 53% after only 10,000 battles. And this is what happens. The toxicity rises in ratings for whatever reason. And it's just craziness. And I understand people get frustrated, but a couple of things you need to get about ratings, guys. You know, it doesn't affect your win rate. It will give you great experience. And, you know, just embrace it more. And the more you embrace it, the more you get out of it. The more we as a player base embrace ratings, the more ratings will give us something in return. Such as the skill-based MM and better rewards. One last point, calibration. Now, I think that when you calibrate, everybody around you in the MM should be calibrating too. But without the player base, it just can't be done. Anyway, I like ratings. I think there is a point. I've been Fujit. That's been a sort of, not a really a rant, 
I really like it and I think we should embrace it. We should go out and play more ratings. By all means, guys, comment and everything below. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It's a nice thing to do. Um, you can always post your replays to me at fujitsublitz at gmail.com or upload them onto my Discord server. Either way, whichever is good for you. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because, you know, that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.